How's it going everybody? Texas Man here. I hope you guys are all having a fabulous day. Please give this video a thumbs up if you guys really enjoy it. Subscribe, of course, if you guys have not already. Also, do me the biggest favor of all. Hit that bell notification button so you guys don't miss out on future videos or streams here on my channel. And also make sure to head over to Twitch. Follow me there at Douglas447. I stream uh, Warface Breakout, Call of Duty Battlefield, Star Wars content. I've got a brand new game coming out uh, in a few weeks that I'll be playing and streaming. So make sure you guys head over there. Follow me there for free at Douglas447 on Twitch. And guys, I am so excited to finally talk about a brand new movie that I was able to see at the theaters. So this is my official review for Tenet, the brand new Christopher Nolan movie. And then uh, after this, I will be also having a review out for the New Mutants. So I ended up seeing both of those. Um, I saw a few other movies, but these are the only two I want to talk about. Because I know a lot of people have been requesting these. And uh, I'm really excited. I'm so happy to be back at theaters. I had my face mask on. I was safe. The whole, you know, social distancing and all that stuff. Did all that and I had a blast. And, uh, you know, spaced out seating and whatnot. So it was definitely, it was definitely different. <laughs> uh, the layout of the theater and the whole, you know, concession stands. I, I did buy concessions when I was at the movies. And, uh, you know, they make it where they, you can either buy butter or they just give you it to you for free and sprinkle salt and on, on that. So it's definitely very interesting. Um, I haven't been to a movie theater since March. So it's been March, April, May, June, July, August, September. It's been eight months. <laughs> eight months since I've been to the movies, guys. And I'll tell you what, uh, there's still that feeling that love of you know you just don't get the same experience of seeing a movie at home as you do at the theaters it's just it's just different like you can enjoy watching your movies on blu-ray and you know disney plus and google or whatever but going to the movies seeing a movie with a group of friends and family and having strangers around you and you're laughing you're crying you're getting freaked out by seeing a spooky movie or something or there's something that happens in the movie that everybody hates and everybody agrees and voices it it's just it's awesome and I've really missed I've really missed that movie going experience and I'm so happy I'm so stoked that they're finally reopened so enough of my hype we're gonna talk about positives and negatives and give you guys my final review score for Tenet so um honestly this is a great film to watch with others Nine times out of ten, you're going to be invested in knowing what's going to happen next. You really do get um, invested. Uh, it takes a while to get started, but eventually you'll get invested into what's actually happening in the universe. Uh, my favorite moments from the movie, I really don't want to talk about too much spoilers. I want you guys to go see this movie for yourself or, you know, wait for it to come out on Blu-ray or digital. But my favorite moments took place in the final 30 minutes of the movie. This is a very complex movie. And it can be very complex and really confusing to people. This movie is definitely more complex and confusing than Inception. If you thought Inception was confusing and complex, this movie tops that times 10. This movie can be hard to follow. It's going to require multiple viewings to understand. The camera work and the special effects in this movie are phenomenal. Love them. The acting from everybody in this movie is great. And that's all I really want to say positive-wise, to be honest with you guys. This movie wasn't as good as I was hoping for. And so I want to stress that like, if you're going to go into this movie thinking, Oh, it's Christopher Nolan and it's a time travel movie to prevent World War III. Uh, I highly encourage you to lower your expectations. Uh, I had certain expectations for this movie and most of them were not met. I honestly was disappointed in this movie. I didn't... It's not that I, like, hate this movie and I don't want to ever see it again. I'm going to get it on Blu-ray and watch it multiple times to catch things I missed. Um, I just... I was disappointed. I did not enjoy this movie as much as I thought I was going to. Now, some people are going to be completely 360 on everything I'm saying here in this review. And they're going to be like, this is the best movie of 2020. Uh... You're welcome to your own opinion. But honestly, guys, I was disappointed. 
the sounds in this film, I don't understand why, but ever since Christopher Nolan did The Dark Knight Rises, he's had this weird problem where sounds and volume and the bass and whatnot, it's like it's turned up to 11. And sometimes the soundtrack and the boom, 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 it makes it so you can't hear characters giving dialogue. And in a movie where it's trying to explain inversion and time travel mechanics and whatnot in this universe, and you can't hear anybody explaining these things at times, it's a real detriment to the film. Uh, this movie is going to require multiple viewings to understand the plots and the time travel and the inversion stuff. Um, this movie is going to require a lot of viewings. I mean... You know, you watch Inception two or three times, you get the gist. You watch Interstellar two or three times, you understand it. You watch Dunkirk or the Dark Knight Trilogy, you understand those movies within two to three viewings. This movie, I feel like it's going to require you to watch it ten times to understand everything that's happening because same things are said so fast that you don't have time to absorb it. Action scenes happen so fast that you don't have time to absorb it because there's so much happening on screen. The volume sometimes is overlapping dialogue so it's going to require you to enable subtitles to fully understand things and it, how the movie ends it's a time travel movie so how the movie ends kind of connects to the beginning of the movie so you've got a lot that you have to digest this movie requires you to digest a lot in a very short amount of time because so much stuff is happening yeah at the same time i thought this movie honestly was way too long because at times i was bored because of all the information being downloaded and dumped onto the audience. And there's a lot of times where this movie just spends a lot of time information dumping. And not giving a lot of character development or some sort of action scene to keep you invested. This movie is well over two and a half hours long. And I honestly almost fell asleep. This movie, about 45 minutes in, I almost fell asleep. And my friends and family that were with me that saw it. Thank you guys for seeing it with me, by the way. Especially you, Grace. Um, people were getting bored. People were starting to fall asleep. And I'm like, this is not a good sign for this to be a time travel adventure movie. Especially being done by Christopher Nolan. I mean, yeah, we saw the movie kind of late at like 9 p.m. But I'm like, it's not even 10 p.m. and people are starting to fall asleep. I'm like, people expected this to be a two and a half hour plus movie. And you're not even an hour in and people are starting to fall asleep. I'm like, that's not a good sign, especially for me. Um, character names are kind of forgettable. There's a lot of predictable moments in this movie. The villain is so one note and generic. Um, for many of, for many people that uh, are going to watch this movie, this is going to be like a watch once and done and kind of forget that it kind of existed. I can see that happening, unfortunately. Uh, things just happen because they need to without really any explanation. And the movie even acknowledges this. They're kind of like, you know, I just don't have time to explain because I just don't have time to explain. And I'm like, they even say something like that in the movie. And I'm like, uh, that's really bad script writing. If you don't have time to explain something in a time travel movie. It... <clears throat> Christopher Nolan, if you're going to put something in the movie, explain it. <laughs> Um, honestly, side characters in this movie are honestly more interesting than the main character, which really is a really bad thing. Honestly, guys, I just, I expected a lot more from this movie. I mean, go see it at theaters. It does deserve the theatrical treatment, for sure. Um, see it at least once, and then honestly, like, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna wait until I get it on Blu-ray to rewatch it with subtitles enabled. And that way I can understand what's actually happening and enjoy it a lot more that way so with that guys i'm going to give tenet from 2020 a 7 out of 10 look forward to my review of the new mutants coming out soon guys i'll have a fabulous one